So tonight I stopped by the hardware store really quick and of course I can't help myself so I went over to the plant section and I found this plant in bad shape with this weird cottony wicky thing sticking out the bottom. It wasn't even in the clearance rack. It was in with the regular plants and um, I told the guy working in the section, there's no way you can sell this like this. Give me a deal. I'm going to try and see if I can't bring this plant back. Its leaves are really dry and wilty, crispy. It's just in bad shape. On the tag, let's see. My full name is Houseplant. I have a pretty good idea of what this, what this plant is. I'm not for certain. I might have to do a quick Google search. But it looks like it's a medium light plant regular water needs, pretty easy to take care of, medium growth so it's not going to get super big. It's got some little leaves on top which makes me think that, I mean, it was trying to grow at some point. So I think this plant was originally marked at $6. I got it for $2.50. So it's worth a couple bucks, right? It's been confirmed, that's kind of what I thought, it is a zebra plant. First thing I want to do is get rid of some of this dead foliage, get rid of all the bad leaves that are going to attract pests and unwanted insects. Oh, this one still hanging on, we're going to leave that one there. It's super compacted in this pot. I can just feel it when I squeeze it. There's a strange little nubbin poking out. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a root coming up. Um, I'm not sure why. But it also looks like there was one on this side too. So I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna leave those alone since I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But these roots are crazy. Very, very root bound. The roots are kind of dry and hard. So I'm gonna try and remove a little bit of this old soil. Yeah, this pot, that, yeah, it's not going to work. That's way too small. Bummer. I'll have to see what I can find for a bigger pot. Okay, so I've got a bigger pot, just a recycled plastic pot from another rescue, I'm sure. Um, it's bigger, one size up from the pot that it came in. So I can give these roots um, a little more space to grow and get them the water that they need. I kind of want to break up some of these, but I'm nervous about breaking them. So I'm just going to pull gently and put them back in. I'm not going to try and stress it out anymore. Okay, we're all potted up. I'm gonna give it um, a little drink. I don't wanna shock it any more than I probably already did today, but I'll wait a few days and then I'll give it a really nice thorough watering. One last look in its sunny location at my zebra plant um, the day, of, day after its rescue. Still pretty sad.
I wanna do a real quick two week check-in just to show you the progress that that one sad little leaf has made. It's grown quite a bit, which I feel is a really good sign that this plant is um, growing and becoming more healthy. The older leaves have perked up quite a bit. Here's this leaf that was holding on. It did not make it, which is okay. I didn't expect it to anyway. But it looks like it's kind of perking up. Nothing new is happening with the strange little root that's poking out, but I'm just gonna leave it alone and we will see what um, becomes of it, if anything. It might not be anything. And we're back for our four week check-in. It's been one month since this zebra plant has been rescued. And um, a lot has changed even from our two week check-in. You can kind of see that those little leaves that we had at the beginning um, have grown quite a bit. And um, down in here, underneath, you'll see that there are new leaves coming in between those other baby leaves. So I would say that that's really positive progress um, and that the plant's doing really well. One thing, um, nothing new has really come of the little, let's see if I can find it in my camera here, the little nubbin, where'd it go? There it is, the little nubbin here. I don't know if it's just a root poking out, I don't know if it's gonna become anything, but it hasn't changed. So we're just gonna leave that alone and see what transpires there. But so far, um, it's looking really well. A few little care tips for the zebra plant. Um, it does like evenly moist soil. It likes bright, indirect light. Um, and the one thing I do, I did notice that I um, was a little behind on watering one week and it got a little droopy. So it really tells you when it needs water. And I watered it and put it back in its spot and it bounced back right away. So um, <clears throat> it'll definitely give you hints as to what it's needing. I wanted to make a mention of its scientific name. So, um, Athalandra squarosa. Athalandra squarosa. And I'm gonna bust out my Latin for gardeners books. Squarosa refers to spreading or curving patterns at the extremities. So, I don't know if that just means how the leaves kind of spiral out in a cool, I don't know if I'd call it square, but kind of a cool spiraling out from the center stalk. Fun plant, really common plant, you can find it anywhere. Um, they don't bloom that often, but you know, it, after it matures, it might get a little uh, flower that comes out. Kind of reminds me of like a coxcomb a little bit. And so far, I would say this plant's doing well. I look forward to watching it grow this summer um, and seeing if I can maybe get, get a flower to pop out. Thanks for checking out my video for more um, plant fun and uh, some fun plant activities this summer. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my website at SuburbanSill.com and um, follow me on Instagram at SuburbanSill um, for daily updates and just fun plant posts and all that stuff. So thanks for stopping by.